plea in an addiction recovery fraud. Those recovery centers closed last year after authorities claimed patients and the government were getting scammed. The I-Team's Brian Crandall has been reporting on the case from the start, and he's here now with these new developments. Brian? Patrice and Jean, the feds claim Michael Breyer bilked the government out of millions of dollars and shortchanged patients on appointment times. Today, he made his guilty plea official. Is there a reason you wanted to plead guilty and not go to a trial? Michael Breyer on the way out of federal court in Providence this afternoon with a lengthy stay in prison on the horizon. I'm glad we're holding him to account. The plea deal, as I first reported in April, calls for Breyer to serve between six and ten years behind bars and repay the government nearly three and a half million dollars. Federal prosecutors led by U.S. Attorney Zachary Cunha accused Breyer of health care fraud through his Recovery Connection Centers of America, which had 14 locations in Rhode Island and Massachusetts. Those centers shut down when Breyer was charged in March of last year. There are a lot of vulnerable victims in this case, and that's one of the reasons we brought this case. The feds claim Breyer overbilled federal government programs by millions of dollars for addiction recovery appointments that never happened or that were cut way short. We're absolutely talking about people who should have gotten services that they didn't and people who needed these particular therapy services to recover from addiction. Just wanted to ask you if you have anything to say to the patients uh, who you shortchanged in this process and who didn't get the services uh, that they were supposed to get. This isn't the first time Breyer faced legal trouble. I first reported on Breyer in 2010 when a judge shut down his tax business in Providence saying there was evidence of illegal and deceptive conduct and he was convicted in 2013. And the feds in this current case accused Breyer of not disclosing his ownership in recovery connection centers on federal forms because doing so would have raised red flags with that history. Anything you want to say about your history and, and what happened here? All right, nothing to say there. As part of the case, the Fed seized a million dollars in bank accounts, Breyer's share of a beachfront condo in Panama, a Mercedes, and a Lexus. Breyer is scheduled to be sentenced in November. I'm Brian Crandall, NBC10 News.